What up, player? So the clip I'm about to show you was actually filmed in Vegas. And the thing about high energy environments like Vegas is you need to be able to lead an interaction. Now leading is good because it shows a lot of good characteristics about you. It shows that you're confident. It shows that you go for what you want. It shows that you don't give a shit about what other people think. Um, and I think most importantly for the girl, it shows that you're comfortable with the interaction. And in turn, that makes her comfortable with whatever you're suggesting, whether that's let's go to this club or let's go back to my house. Now, why do girls want to be led? This goes all the way back to our ancestors in the caveman days. Um, basically, females in the caveman days were looking for males that could not only help them reproduce, but also protect them as well. Do you think a guy who is scared and shy in social situations is likely to be a good protector for a girl? Usually not. So why do girls want to be led? Because they're girls, first of all, and because it's hardwired into their biology. This is why you see a lot of girls go for the assholes and the douchebags, because even though the girls might be getting treated like shit by these assholes and douchebags, unconsciously, they're thinking, this guy is a good protector, so therefore, I should be attracted to him. Now, I'm not saying go out there and be a complete asshole or douchebag, because there's ways to trigger these emotions in girls and still be a nice guy and still be yourself. Girls we've dated in the past have all told us the same exact thing. The main reason that they were attracted to us is because we were not needy vaginas. We always said what we want to say and did what we want to do and we never held back. When you say what you want and do what you want, it's attractive. And that's why it's so important to be leading when you meet a girl verbally and physically. In high energy environments like Vegas, it's hard to make a deep connection right away. So a better course of action is to go for the fun uh, party, I don't give a shit vibe and lead the interaction, then go for the deep connection later. So anyway, um, here's the clip. Focus on how I'm leading the girls verbally and physically the entire time. Excuse me. You look sexy as fuck, and I had to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. It was supposed to be not that much of a compliment, no, but like kind yeah. of a compliment. Oh, I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Nonetheless, where are you guys from? Where are you guys Ohio. celebrating? We just wanted bloody baby. We just wanted bloody Mary. We asked after bloody Marys, and the bartenders didn't know how to make them. We're like, what what's that? that? Mean? It's Vegas. It's Vegas. Wait, really? I know how to make a bloody yeah. Mary in my own hometown. I know how to make a bloody Mary. You, you guys are from, too, right? and you guys are from Ohio. All right, Thank listen. You. You're gonna be my new girlfriend for the next five minutes. Oh, okay. And we're all gonna go get Bloody Marys. Let's go get Bloody Marys, baby! For the next 10 minutes. I dare yes. us. I dare We're us. I Let's dare go. us. I think your friends left you. you no, like I'm actually meeting them over at um, yeah. Cosmo Halton. Yeah. Let's, Let's do go. it, baby. Let's yeah. go. We're going to get Bloody Marys. Where are we going? Who can serve those the fastest? Yeah. Mm, Down there. Tacos. He's gonna take us. Tacos. He's gonna Bloody Marys. Tacos. Tacos. Mm. I want a taco. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Fuck the tacos. Fuck, tacos. Fuck the tacos, <laughs> okay? It's about the Bloody Marys. Yeah, it's about, yeah. The, it's about the Bloody Marys. And, um... Wait, where is that? He's so amazing. Are, are, are we going to... What? I knew he was. Where are we going? The Cosmopolitan. Okay, let's go. You know your way around. Let's go. Show us around, baby. I'm from LA. Marquis? I run LA. We're from Ohio, so you still know more. Right? That's true. Uh, I bet. All right, let's go. Let's Fuck go. this. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Show us the way. All right, so what are you guys celebrating, for real? Um, Vegas. Yeah, that's and, it? In our youth. Vegas and your youth? Yes. Before we lose it, you know? Yeah. And that's weird that you guys are here on a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Ellen. This way, this way, this way. Thank you. Yeah. It's odd that you guys are celebrating on a Wednesday night, though. Well, we got here... Oh. Yes, sir. Well, I got here yesterday morning. Really? Hold on real quick. Hello? Hey, um, I'm actually trying to find the exit. I'm trying to find the exit right now. Okay, where are you guys going? Cosmopolitan? Okay, I'll just meet you guys over there. That's cool. All right, cool. Later. <clears throat> so, what was that? Let's ask this guy. Excuse me. Where is the uh, the main exit out of here? Uh, head that way, just past Cars Camp, next left. Is that where all the taxis are? Yes. 
Okay, head that way to the left. Yeah. You see the trash can right there? Just pass that to the yeah. left and out the door. Yeah. All right, listen, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on, LA. Yeah. Come on, oh. LA. All right, come on, Ohio. Let's do it. LA. Excuse me, you look sexy as fuck and I had to meet you. Right away, you'll notice the commanding tone of my opener. I don't go in and say she's cute or I like her style like I usually do because again, this is Vegas, high energy environment. Girls will not respond as well to the safer approach. So instead, I tell her you're sexy as fuck. Now, one huge mistake that I used to make when I first started out was to always treat all interactions the same no matter where I went. And that's comforting to think about in theory, but realistically, you have to change your game based on your environment. So for example, if you're in a supermarket, you can't go up to a random girl and say, yo, you're sexy as fuck. On the other hand, you can't be in a loud nightclub and say something like, excuse me, um, I just saw you uh, walking past with all your friends and I really liked your dress. I wanted to meet you, what's your name? That girl is there to party. She's probably going to turn around and leave before you even finish that sentence. So remember, you need to up your boldness in high energy environments. So from this point on, listen to the way I'm talking to them. I always assume that they're down for whatever I say and I assume this through my tonality. He's gonna take us. He's gonna take us. No, 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 no. Okay. Shh. Okay. Fuck the, fuck the tacos. Fuck, tacos. <laughs> fuck the tacos. Okay. <laughs> I bet. All right, let's go. Let's fuck go. this. Let's go. Let's do it. Show us the way. See the trash can right there. Just pass that to the yeah. left and out the door. Yeah. All right. Listen. Let's go. All right. Come on, Ohio. Let's do it. All right. So you get the point. I'm not coming from a place where I'm asking anyone for permission. I'm coming from a place where I'm just a fun guy and I'm saying, listen, this is what we're gonna do. You either take it or leave it. Let's ask this guy. Excuse me. Where is the, uh, the main exit out of here? Here, I have no fucking clue where I'm going, but I don't let the girls know that. If they sense that I have no idea where I'm going, they're going to be less comfortable coming with me. Remember, I'm the leader here. So I act like I know where I'm going, but realistically, I'm just looking for someone who works there to ask them for directions. But the girls don't know the difference. Even when I go up and ask for directions, they're still perceiving the situation as I know where I'm going because of the way I act, because of my tonality, because of um, how I'm leading. Next time that you're in the same situation, even if you have no fucking idea where you're going, just act like you do until you figure it out. Now be careful with this because there are times in my life where I didn't know where I was going for a pretty long time and the girls started getting suspicious. So um, at that point, what I would do is just be brutally honest with them. I'll say something like, honestly, I have no clue where we are right now, but you know what? Let's just walk around and figure it out together. Or something like, um, I have no clue where we are, but fuck it, let's just go here and then go to the nearest bar or club. The point is, don't be unsure of yourself. Even if you don't know where you're going, you should be sure that you're going to figure it out somehow. So after this, we all get into a cab and we party at a nearby club. And as I said earlier, you don't need to make a deep connection in order to do this. All you need to do is be the center of fun. Girls want to come to you for good emotions. And if they feel like they can do that, they're going to want to stay with you throughout the night. You just need to be the center of fun. Girls want to know that they can come to you for good emotions. Now keep in mind that this was filmed on a Wednesday night. And if you don't know, Wednesday nights are pretty horrible compared to let's say Friday or Saturday. But does that stop me from going out and having fun? Of course not. Don't make excuses for not going out. Even if you're in a new city or if you don't know anyone, you don't have any friends, you're by yourself, it's a dead night. There should be no excuses for you to go out and make some new friends if you have nothing else to do. If you're someone who travels a lot, you can turn a boring business trip into an adventure of a lifetime if you just go out and step out of your comfort zone and try to make shit happen. The world is full of hot girls and opportunities, but it's up to you to bring them into your life. Anyway, here's a really quick recap. Make sure you're always fucking leading the interaction.